All right, guys. So continuing with the 2025 January um, past paper, right? Here we are with question three, right? So we're looking at question three. If you have not seen my previous videos of question one and two, then you need to check that out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Let me know if these videos are helpful, right? And so here we go. We're going to go right into this question. This question is a depreciation question as well as it is a manufacturing account question. So you may want to pay attention to this question. So let's get right into it. So this question, it asks you to define the term depreciation, which is a reduction in the value of um, a fixed asset or fixed assets. That's one mark. And that would be enough to get that one mark. Then it went on to give you some further details. On the 1st of January 2023, Kali Jonas, the owner of Kali's manufacturing company, purchased a delivery truck costing $50,000. He is undecided on whether to charge depreciation using the straight line or the reducing balance method and has made the following decisions. Useful life is estimated to be five years. Estimated scrap value is one um, $10,000 and then depreciation rate for the reducing balance method would be 25% per annum. They're asking you now to complete the table below to show annual depreciation charges for the straight line and the reducing balance balance methods for 2023 and um, 2024 and you are to show all working right so if you look at this little table here that they would have provided they have the year their straight line method right how much you should charge for depreciation space for you to show your working and similar for the reducing balance method now if you haven't seen my video on depreciation right then you probably would need to go and see that so you can have a full and a better understanding right so just go on my page go on the channel right and type in depreciation or you can even go um just on regular youtube type in depreciation everything business and you will see my video or videos on depreciation so check it out all right but for those of us for those of us who have already looked at the theory behind depreciation let's look at it so for the straight line method we know right that if the value for depreciation is not given we have to use the formula so the depreciation formula is the cost which is fifty thousand dollars minus the selling price which is ten thousand dollars or the scrap value divided by the number of years which is five years right so you have fifty thousand take away ten thousand divided by five which give you eight thousand so 8,000 is the amount of depreciation to be charged per year under the straight line method. Now, the reason why you see I write it back down here for 2024 is because, well, it's the same. The straight line method, you only use one value. So once you get the value for depreciation under the straight line method, it does not change. You use that value for all the years remaining. All right? <clears throat> so now, looking at the reducing balance method, right? The reducing balance method states that will really uh you charge the value for depreciation and, and the, the cost of the asset in the, in the first year and then in the years after that the same fixed percentage is calculated and the reduced balance so 25 percent of 50,000, which is the cost in the first year would give us 12,500. and then the year after right the value for the asset would now be 37,500, and you may say how did I get 37,500? Well, 50,000 minus 12,500 give you 37,500. And so you're going to calculate the depreciation on the reduced balance, which is the 37,500, right? So 37,500, right, multiplied by 25% would give you 9,375. So that is the value for depreciation in the second year under the reducing balance method. All right. So remember that in the reducing balance method, you pay more for depreciation in the early years. So it is consistent with that principle as well. Now, we move on to the manufacturing account question, right? Um, remember that they will fuse topics, right? And so this is a depreciation question plus the manufacturing question. 
So CMC's accounting staff presented the following information. So you have the raw materials, right? You have the work in progress. You have the additional information there. And then they ask you know, to prepare the manufacturing account for the year with using the information that they would have given you before. Now, if you have not done manufacturing account before, you're probably not going to understand this, right? So what I advise for you to do, if you have not yet done manufacturing account and you haven't reviewed it, you haven't done the theory, then you need to stop this video, right? Pause it right there, open another tab, um, type in manufacturing account, everything business, and you'll find my videos on manufacturing account. So in those videos, I go through the theory so you can understand the background, right? It's not going to take you more than 15 minutes, right? So you can take 15 minutes, go through that video so you can understand what we are going to be doing now. All right. So you have the manufacturing account here. You start with the opening stock of raw material, right? And this is pretty simple. Now. This is a pretty easy manufacturing account question. Very easy. All right. So you start with the opening stock of raw materials. 47,500. You add the purchases of raw materials, which they give you here 142,500. You get 190,000, which is the cost of raw materials available. Then you subtract, which is the, the first of the only subtraction that you'll do in a manufacturing account. You're subtracting your closing stock of raw materials, right, which is 60,000. You get 130,000, right, which is the cost of raw materials sold then you're going to add, add your direct cost which in this case we got labor cost right so we add our direct labor cost 197,500 then we get um 327,500 which is our prime cost our prime cost is a total of all the direct costs direct material direct labor um, and direct expenses you get your prime cost and then now you add your overhead so your overhead see there fuck your overhead 141,250 you add that right add your overhead now this 4, 468,750 this would have been your production cost if you did not or if you were not given work in progress but you were given open work in progress and closing work in progress so we have to add opening work in progress right which would give you 488,750 then we subtract closing work in progress um which would now give us the production cost of 470,000 again you know, you double line it all right so that is the production cost cd right and that's seven marks i tell you this is not difficult at all you are just using the information that is given here you just need to know the format and also you need to know the theory so Go and watch that video, uh, my video on manufacturing accounts if you have not done so. This is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, an average accounting student should be able to do this without much problems. All right. Then now we move to the, the, the back part of the question or the last part of the question. So it says that the company manufactured 22,500 units. We are supposed to calculate or compute the unit cost. Unit cost really means how much it costs for one. So let's let's look at it now. You manufacture twenty two thousand five hundred. They want to find out how much it cost to manufacture one. Well, what do we know so far? Well, we do know that to manufacture, right, those twenty two thousand five hundred, it will cost us four hundred and seventy thousand. Because that is our production cost, our total production cost. So the unit cost would be equal to the production cost divided by the number of units. So in this case, this is 470,000 divided by 22,500, which would give us $20.89 for one of those units, right? So that's pretty easy, simple calculation. They asked us now to calculate the total unit selling price, unit selling price. So they tell us that the markup is 60%. So what the, the company really doing is they're putting on 60% of the cost so you're going to calculate 60 percent of the unit price which is 12 dollars 53 so it's 60 percent multiplied by 20.89 which is 12 dollars 53 cent so the selling price is going to simply be the 20 um 20 dollars which is the unit price the unit price plus the markup price which would give us 33 dollars 
and the 42 cents so this is really what they're going to sell one of the items for all right so that's another again pretty simple calculation then they ask us to they said that the company sold 22,500 manufactured units really they sell everything right so their operating expenses are 20 percent of the sales they're asking us now to calculate the value of the expenses right what they want to find out from you is if you know how to calculate the overall um sales figure what the sales figure will be right and you're just going to find the operating cost which is 20 percent of that sales figure so we know how much was produced 22,500 units we know how much they are selling for because we know the selling price $33.42 so you simply multiply number of units by the selling price which would give us the overall sell sales figure so this is the income that the business will collect $751,950 right and so if we want to find out the operating cost we simply find 20% of that which is $150,390 right and there you have it right that is it that's three marks you know and you can understand why it's a little bit more than the others right because if the if everything is incorrect so if this is incorrect then this is going to be incorrect right then this is going to be incorrect just the same so you want to pay attention to that all right so question number four is coming up shortly so stay tuned right don't forget to like subscribe and share check out my tiktok channel right at everything business 876 and i will see you in the next one what good